Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your year-end W-2s using the Atrix Complete eFile service. This is a screen that you would see once you have opened up the Atrix solution within your host software. You'll begin with a short wizard to clarify important information used to file your W-2s. The first question is whether or not you would like to take a test drive. You have the option at any time to do a short test drive in order to see the features available in the solution. You will verify the EIN, making certain that you are filing your W-2s for the correct company. You have company information, which you can edit at any time. This is what will appear on the W-2s when they are mailed. You must identify whether you are filing for your own company or if you are a third-party tax preparer. This is a list of the states that would be filed for and the tracking ID numbers that are used in order to file state and local taxes. For example, the Pennsylvania Act 32 requirements ask for certain information making certain that your filings will be done correctly. You must identify your TCA your remittance TCD, account numbers, and employer number. You'll have to answer a series of questions to identify whether you have any exempt employees, whether you have employees that have earned tips that must be reported, uh, do you want to use control numbers? You do have the option of assigning control numbers to your employees, and do you have any employees who are willing to accept an electronic delivery only? If you have indicated that you have exempt employees, you will have to identify any that are tribal council members. This is where you would set up your control number. You must identify the type of payer you are. In most cases, you will be a 941. If you have third party sick pay that needs to be added, you'll need to check that. And there will be a process that allows you to enter that information. You can enter an establishment number or other EIN that you may have used for this company earlier this year and you must check to identify if the business terminated this year. If you have more than one database for your EIN, you will need to answer yes here. You'll continue processing, followed by processing the additional data sets, and will merge them on the end, as the federal government requires a single filing. Once you have finished the wizard, the data will be passed to our grid, which allows you to verify each element of the W-2. The first process is verifying employee information. During this entire review process, over 60 error checks are conducted, so you may be stopped during this process to correct anything that falls outside of recommended guidelines. That would be limits, uh, revenue limits, uh, percentages. Uh, for example, if you had a uh, Social Security number that began with a 9, that is not allowed. And it, will cause, and it will cause an error to be displayed. When I click Next, you'll see here that it says you have an error. It identifies the error. There's a social security number beginning with a nine. I can go back and correct, and you'll note that where that error occurs is highlighted in red, and I can simply go back and correct that. It will not allow you to go forward if there is an error that we know will result in a rejection. So in this case, I've corrected the error. I have reviewed the information for my employees, and I'm moving forward. The next step is simply to verify uh, that you have individuals who have requested electronic only. Remember that this requires a signature and would be identified by a checkbox. The first step is to verify that you have employees who have requested electronic delivery only. Remember that this requires a signature from the employee stating that they are fine with receiving an electronic delivery method only. In this case, you can see under electronic only that this individual has been marked. Once that is done, you will move forward, and now you begin to look at wages. These are your Social Security wages. Each column has a heading. You can review them. If you bring them down to the bottom, you can check uh, you can view this information and verify it against what you have in your payroll. Finally, you'll review state wages. 
This again will identify in each header what type of tax and from what state and the amounts. You can take advantage of any of the special offers that are available for you. You will be notified at this step of any specials that are, are available to you. In this case, there is a special for filing ACAs. If you use the complete W-2 e-file service to file your W-2s, you can receive a significant discount for your ACAs. You'll then select the level of service that you request. In this case, we have clicked Complete W-2 e-file service. This means that Atrix will print and mail your employee copies. We will host those copies online for instant access. We'll file the Fed W-2s and W-3 to the Social Security Administration. We will e-file your state W-2s and any reconciliation forms that are required. And EW-2s are available for all of your employees. If you would like a hard copy for an archive file for off-site storage, or for in-house storage, simply click yes, and that can be provided. This will show you the list of states that we are filing on your behalf. As you can see in our sample data, we have all of the states present that require W-2 filing. In order to speed up this process, I'm simply going to deselect them and select Colorado, just as an example. If you're going to print, copies for your own files. You can ask here that there will be divider sheets placed in between. This will tell you everything that we are going to file on your behalf. The federal W-2s, W-3, the Colorado e-file a W-2, the employee copy, and the employer copy, which you can print. You can print this list and keep it if you would like. However, it is available in your history file. Once you have completed that, the forms themselves will be displayed to give you a chance to review them visually exactly how they will appear as they are filed to the agencies and to your employees. You can see here that we have 15 W-2s. You can page through them and view them each individually. These are employer copies. Once you've done that, you can move forward. You have the opportunity to print. Next, you can see the two up federal copies. Again, you can review them if you wish. Next is the federal W-3. You can see that this is the transmittal form for the W-3. Following this is the Colorado copies for your employees that will be filed on their behalf. Once the review process is complete, the e-file server will be launched and you will be asked for your credentials that you have created at efile.atrix.com when you enrolled for the service. You will then review your enrollment information, verifying that this is the correct company that you are filing for and that the contact information is correct. You will then be given the price information of exactly what it will cost in order to complete the filing services. At this point, you will be asked whether or not you intend to use the ACA e-file service from Atrix to file your 1095s. If you intend to, in order to receive a 50% discount on your ACA filings, simply click Yes. You'll now establish the dates at which you would like things mailed. Now, if you are going to file your ACA using the Atrix e-file service, the ACA 1095 and W-2s will be mailed at the same time. So please select a date that allows you time enough to complete your ACA filings. If no date is selected, W-2s will be mailed the next business day. You'll be asked to provide credit card information in order to pay for the service. If you have requested an archive copy, you will need to verify the shipping information so that it can be mailed accurately. This is a confirmation that Atrix has received your file and it is ready to be submitted. Once the filing is complete, you will be issued an AFID number. This number is very important, will be provided you in your confirmation, but this number should be kept in case you have any support issues or questions. This number will identify the exact filing that you have just completed. That's just how easy it is to complete all of your W-2 filing 
including mailing and delivering your employee copies, filing your federal W-2, W-3, all state copies that are required, including reconciliation reports, and they are now available online for instant access.